Human cloning, the science of science fiction. Scientists call it as a breakthrough of the century. But politicians and religious leaders oppose the concept of human cloning. What is cloning? Cloning is simply copying. Example is identical twins. They are clones because they are copied to each other. Their clone creates naturally when cells divide in the womb. It means cloning can happen naturally as well as artificially too. What is human cloning? Creating a copy of the human in the laboratory. Human cloning is an asexual reproduction, where no sperm directly meet with egg. It's a production of a new human organism that is identical to the human being, whose DNA is used for the cloning. How human cloning is done? For human cloning, researchers take someone's DNA whom they want to clone. It can be extracted from a skin cell or a hair. Then they insert it into an unfertilized human egg from which the existing DNA has been removed or inactivated. After a couple of chemical tweaks, the egg cell, with its new nucleus started to behave like a freshly fertilized egg and started developing into an embryo. Later, this embryo gets implanted into a surrogate mother and it got cloned. Human cloning is achieved by a technique called as somatic cell nuclear transfer. What are the benefits of cloning? Cloning will bring out many medical advances that will start a new revolution in medical science. Someday it may be possible to reverse the aging process. It means you can technically become younger whenever you wish. All you need to do is to create a clone of yourself for whatever age you wish to. Literally cloning would allow humans to live to an age they wish and they couldn't die when they are ready to die. Even it will eliminate the fear of old age death. What a scientific advancement, isn't it? Cloning can be used to grow organs or tissue to remake the damaged cells of our body. It will cure many dangerous diseases and literally we can get rid of almost all disease. It can lessen the chance of heart attack. Doctors may treat heart attack victims by just taking out their heart cells that are damaged and some of the cells that are healthy. Then by cloning those cells and putting them in the parts where the damaged cells are, they would make a healthy heart. This could minimize a lot of deaths. What are the problems of human cloning? Technically, cloning seems very good, but there are many issues which need to be addressed properly. Cloning involves a grave ethical issue. Technically it creates a human life solely for the purpose of destroying it. You create a clone and then kill it for organs which will be implanted in someone else. It's unethical as it uses a human embryo merely as a means to an end. The children born after cloning, mostly born with severe deformities, and a very rare chance to survive. It happens due to missing, crucial interactions between the sperm and egg. It results in some serious genetic reprogramming errors. This leads to random, widespread genetic imprinting and epigenetic defects in cloned, which causes cancer. The biggest setback of cloning is that when a cell derived from cloning is injected back into the donor, they got rejected because of epigenetic misexpression. It means a healthy organ developed by the cloned body will most probably be rejected by the healthy body for which it was grown. Finally, we must say it will take time to understand the all aspects of cloning. Over the years scientists may find solutions to these old concerns and cloning may play a wider role in the development of mankind. Till then we will wait, thank you.